we're going to continue with troubleshooting on AC faults and looking at what might be the case if you had a solar breaker that was too small. Let's check that out. So bringing down our choices here, we're asked what is the condition. Looking at the display, we see a typical AC fault problem here. No display indicated and no power production lights and no lights on at all. So no AC power. So back to our choices. Our condition here is no light, AC fault. We choose that. We're led to the AC disconnect first. We're always being systematic here. Is the AC disconnect handle on? And the answer is yes. It's on. It's up. That's good. So that's up. Then we open the service panel door and we take a look. Is the solar breaker tripped? And indeed, it is. You see that it's off down to the right. So that breaker is tripped off to the right. So the answer is yes, it's tripped. Okay, there's a problem. So that's not allowing any AC power to get from the breaker to the inverter. So now we're asked, is the rating on the breaker handle at least 30 amps? And it says 20. Let's click on the More Info button here to get more information about this step. For this exercise, we're assuming that we've installed a 5,000 watt inverter with a 6.3 kilowatt array. But a 5,000 watt inverter divided by 240 volts AC and then multiply that by the 1.25 electrical code safety factor gives 26 amps, which should be rounded up to the next standard size of 30. So we need a 30 amp breaker for this inverter, but somebody installed a 20 and it's tripping. And that makes sense. So there's the problem. Okay, so we say, is the breaker handle at least 30 amps? And the answer is no. Okay, fault found. Breaker is too small. So what we do is we're teleported down to the main breaker, not the solar breaker, and we're going to turn that off. So we flip that to an off position to be safe, to work inside. We're brought back up to the top to look at the solar breaker, and we're told replace the solar breaker with a 30 amp breaker and touch the breaker to do that. So we're going to touch the breaker, and that brings up this instruction that says solar breaker replace. I want to do that action, so I click on replace. And indeed, if I scroll in a little bit here, I see that now I've got a 30 amp breaker in place. So good, I've replaced that breaker. Proper. Let's go on. I go back down and I reset my breaker to on. So I got my power back on my system. And then I'm sent back up to the solar breaker and zoom in. I'm asked to reset that solar breaker back on. So I turn that on. And now I have power being sent to my system. And just to check it out, if I go over here to the lower right to my teleport locations, I click on that. I can go to various places in my system. If I go over here to the inverter, I can just take a look and see. My display shows now I've got my full power of my system and I've got my solid green light indicating that I'm producing and exporting power. So I have indeed solved the problem by replacing a breaker that was too small with one that's adequate and that won't trip. Hey, thanks for watching the training video using Interplay's simulation-based training program. You can keep watching our solar videos by clicking on the link to your left or stay up to date on our latest solar snacks by subscribing on your right. To learn more about how the STP provides critical team training and helps you build an onboarding program at your company, please go to interplaylearning.com.